Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're doing part three of that yard sale that we went to last weekend where I got tons and tons of amazing plush and a bunch of bread and butter. But why are you looking at me like that? Because after the look you were giving me before we started <laughs> this, you should start out with, hi again, I'm Rebel. I'm the hateful reseller. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Y'all, he had his phone out when I was ready to start the video. Was I doing something worthwhile? Maybe, but it could have waited too. It would have been lost to memory because I would have forgotten all about it. <laughs> and it was okay. important. It was. All right. Well, let me show you some of the stuff I picked up that wasn't all toys. I went ahead and grabbed. Let me show you. Oh. Some of these DVDs, I, I'm assuming were for Robert. Like this whole pack here. Because I don't even, oh wait, no, Sid the Science Kid. I have another Sid the Science Kid somewhere, so I'm going to add this to it. I thought they were worth a whole lot more than they were, but they weren't. So, we, I'll make a lot of two. We got things to watch. Yes. Happy Gilmore. I'm sure this one's appropriate, Big Daddy. <laughs> Probably not. But he's 16, so that's okay. I watched that years ago. It was pretty good. Joan of Arc. And then... I think that one's worth like 15 bucks, if I remember right. Oh, so that might be for resale later. Yes, and then there was this one. What is that? A game? CD Interactive Space Adventure game. And did you look it up? I did. And? I don't remember. He doesn't remember. I don't know why that one doesn't stick in my head. I will look it up now. All right. And then I grabbed, I grabbed these three because I figure one of these years I'm going to actually find something that's new and sealed and worth Tons and tons and tons of money. But I don't think any of these were. This was Land Before Time. Oh, this is my all-time, I think, favorite movie. Only because my oldest would sit and say all the words in all the same, like, feelings and emotions as the characters in the movie as he was watching it. And it's just the fondest of my memories. And then The Best of Dr. Seuss. And then this was a Care Bears. And then, oh, I did grab, let's see, a Fraggle Rock and Bananas in Pajamas because look what was in the box. So I'm probably going to put these together. But it was working. I must have turned it off. Or somebody turned it off. Well, I don't see it. It so, was working. So oh. is, ban is bananas in pajamas anything like llama llama red pajama? No. No. But hopefully, hopefully this works. I could have swore I heard him talking at some point. I'm going to put these two together. And then I looked up and Pokemon in lots. VHS does quite well. So I went ahead and grabbed... We paid, I think it was a dollar a video. Yes. So that's, that was all of that. Let's go back to Laser Lords. Laser Lords. The used prices and the new prices are all kind of mixed together around each other, but it varies in price from 15 and then there were new ones for 30, but there was a used one on auction for 90, new ones for 115 or something like that. So. Yep, I'll add it to this pile of stuff to get worked on here really, really soon. The $90 used one was on an auction. It had five bids. Dang, that's weird. That's weird. Right time, right place. All right, and then this I grabbed. It is a slide viewer because right under there is a whole tote full of slides from what? Like the 70s, wasn't it? Six, maybe 60s, 60s and, 70s. and 70s. They were, they were, it could have been 70s. Yeah, they were older vacation stuff and who knows what else. So, using this, he'll be able to look at the slide. And if it's something that we want to sell individually, um, take pictures showing, you know, that the slide is what it is that we say it is. So, that was that. We did the slide from way earlier. We bought, yeah. they were in a video way earlier this year. I, I think we paid like more. $10 for all the slides. And it's it's a large tote right there of them. And then I might as well show you what's in this box first. I 
just loved these. Now they've got some condition issues, but look, they are waterproof, made in the USA, little girl, size 12. And I, they were charging a dollar for these. And y'all, this is still all that one yard sale. And I grabbed this. It was a dollar also. Just a little vintage igloo water jug. I want to say those are like maybe 10 to $15. Look, I had to grab her. Look, her name is Patty Cake, but look when you squeeze her belly. Trying to see. Of course I didn't bring my glasses down. If you squeeze my belly that hard, I'd probably scrunch up too. Not quite sure who the manufacturer is, but I just loved her. A dollar. Somehow I missed her in the box. Robert went ahead and grabbed her. Pretty sure she's like Mattel. Haven't we had her recently? I've had her and I've sold her. I think I had more parts to her, but look how nice her outfit is. Hopefully she works. In very, very nice condition. Here was a couple more. Look at these, y'all. Look at the shorts. It says Levi's. The owner's favorite pair. They are, I'm assuming a women, well, they might be a little girls, but I don't think so. They aren't fitting me, so if they're not child size, I can't read the tag. It's totally faded. I thought that was interesting, and then I grabbed this shirt. Look at this. Beach gear, definitely vintage. Yellowed like all the others I picked up. Uh, I, these were all, I think, either a dollar or 50 cents each. I had to grab this little Snoopy hat. Does have some peeling fuzz balls. You know, I had a sweater shaver and all of a sudden I can't find it. So I think somebody's borrowed it and it's over on this side of the basement. Probably next, probably next to your box cutter, some random place. <laughs> Might as well show you this plush. It says it's musical, but it does have a battery pack. Hopefully, I'm like some of the things that I purchased here that had battery packs in them. Probably half of them were totally corroded, unfortunately. This says Prayer Bear, Messenger, Messiah Messengers. Which is very cute. Hopefully it works. I grabbed this. Kids of America. Pink poodle. Has its collar. Just cute. I'm hoping. I don't know. $15, $20 for it. I did pick up a couple of look, Levi's 512. Vintage shorts. And a pair of pants that were Levi's. One of these years, I hope, 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 hope I will find Biggie jeans. There used to be a Levi's plant here in the Tri-Cities area where we live um, because when I first moved here in 97, I worked for a tip agency and it was one of the companies I actually had to call to um, confirm somebody's employment. It had already shut down by them, but they were still at that point, um, you know, the, the, the HR department was still open. So there's a good opportunity to find some, a lot of vintage plush in our plush, vintage Levi's in our area. And then Robert grabbed these. They are all, most of them, Tommy Hilfiger, but they're all these colors. And then, see, these two are, oh, Tommy Bahama, and, oh, Tommy Bahama. So, just a nice, and all of the pants, shorts were a dollar each. 
Disney. I'm pretty sure he is Bruce from Finding Nemo. He's battery powered, so please, fingers crossed that he works. I'm pretty sure he's like older. Yep, 2002. And then Cat in the Hat. Very cool. I'm hoping, I don't know, $12, $15 for him. This is intriguing because I don't know what it is. His arms are poseable. Oh, yeah. That's good. This, it looks like it's saying Kitty Magic 2001 Marvel. I'm trying to see what's under here. Oh, just the battery area. I've never had this. I have had stuff from Marvel Entertainment before. Oh, look. I bet you it should have had some kittens. And when you push on this, it's kind of like it's feeding its babies. And it's probably going to make, um, like, nursing sounds. And this, I have not found one of these probably in 10 years or more. This is Hamtaro. Um... I used to find them all the time and did well with them. So I'm hoping because I don't normally find them that it's going to actually be a bolo. But I have no clue. 2002 Epic. Is he from that hamster dance website? No. Oh, no, I haven't seen anything in these bags. Finding Nemo. I forget his name. Squirt. Yep. Very cute. I'm hoping $10, $15 for it. No clue, but look, it's kind of cute. Kind of not hush puppy looking, but just intriguing. Probably going to be bread and butter. Aw, oh, some advertising plush. Look, 2000 Redken. White bear. A lot of these still are like $10, $12. Look. Lisa Frank. Marky. Lisa Frank. Don't know his name. I see more bright colors. Lisa Frank. No. Nope. Maybe. That's it. Three. Three Lisa Franks. No clue on value on these. No clue. And I'm hoping 20 plus. 20, 25. For each. All right. A Mart. Cute little black cat. Did that come before Kmart? I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe. A little key ring plush. It was an alphabet joke. Uh huh. <laughs> right. Here, look, here's another A Mart. I'm going to put all them together. But they both came before S Smart. Mm -hmm. Shop Smart. Shop S Smart. <laughs> That's right. Shop Smart. Shop S Smart. Liesco. I've had that brand before. Look. What is this? Is this the pan? Red, red Tail Panda. Yeah. No, Red Panda. Red Panda. I had a Red Panda taken down recently. I think it was. What was it? Not this brand. Ikea. No, not Wild Ikea. Or whatever. Wild Republic. And it was a worldwide recall. So hopefully this one's all right. But it makes me wonder now. This is 24K, Polar Puff, Mighty Star, Swifty. These are like, I'm thinking 10 to $15 for it. This is intriguing. Oh, Gift Co. Look, kind of a, I, don't, I have a clue. Kind of reminds me of like a nerd, but I don't think so. Lots of littles. Target, a whole bunch of those A-marts. It says MGA Entertainment. MG, that does, they do brats. That's Dizzy. I'm not sure if this is a Bratz pet, but it is battery operated. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Oh, this looks intriguing. Oh, 
Oh, this is, fuck, this is another Pokemon. It says Game Freak on the tag. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. I think most of them have been like 10 to $15. He really does look like the nerd's plush, except their eyes tend to be on the front instead of the side. Yep. Oh, this is interesting. I've had these in the large ones. Limbo Legs, Jack's Pacific. There's a whole series. A lot of times they're the taller plush, but the legs are like huge and they stand. So, interesting. But the rest is just more like this one is Gloeska too, the same as the Red Panda. Just smalls. There's a tie in here. There's a, oh, another Polar Puff Mighty Star. It's very interesting. But Lisa Frank. Lisa Frank. This is a more contemporary Care Bears. It is different, though. It's got, this is kind of a rough fabric here where it's not normally. But I want to say, yeah, 2000. Two or three. Y'all, I don't have my glasses. This looks... Oh, Mattel. Probably Barbie. It says Budster Stars. But usually Mattel is Barbie. But 2001, it's battery operated, so I'm a, I'm a little concerned. Whoa. This is Dragon Tails. A little brush for dragon tails. I don't know if I've ever had that before. Right, there were a few more Finding Nemo. I may just make a lot, depending on the dollar value of these. All of these are Hasbro, but it's Dory and Finding Nemo. This is Avon. So it's battery operated. Probably going to be bread and butter. Look. Franklin. It's by Kid Power, the same one like um, Little Bear. I think I showed you guys either in the first or the second video. I might pull, depending on how much he's worth, I might pull one of them and put the two together. Because Little Bear and Franklin were always together in the cartoon. Very cute. Hopefully he works. And this was also in there. Walmart. I'm assuming this button here is going to be like a sensor. So if it hears a sound, then it might make crazy, ridiculous noises. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. Stuffins. Nutso Elephant. I don't know that one. It sounds vaguely familiar. Stuffins is usually character toys in one way. Look, look. Raymond Briggs, the snowman. Not sure what year. I don't know if I've had one this small before. Usually this is a big bolo. If you ever see them at yard sales, grab it. Mattel, Star Beans, Disney, all of that. These are usually still just going to be bread and butter. This is intriguing. Yep, Walmart. But look how cute. It's kind of a... Oh, it's those micro beads. It's kind of like a mushy, but not. Very cool. I don't know. I'm hoping 12 to 15 for it. Oh, I'm seeing beanies. We'll see. Oh, these are cute. More little dogs, but there's no tags. I love listing cats and dogs. So you mentioned beanies. We were at an estate sale, which we haven't gotten oh, to the no. stuff from from that one. But these guys were young guys, eh, 25, 20s, 30. Yeah. And they were, they didn't have enough money to buy all the stuff they were going to buy. They were... Definitely resellers. They, they talked about the stuff. They well, and they were looking stuff up on eBay. Looking stuff up on eBay. And 
they they were deciding what to put back, but they were definitely hanging on to the to the box of Beanie Babies. Yes, because I I didn't pay I wasn't paying attention to what they had picked up. There was a big pile, and they kept going back and forth. And the the one guy was like me that day. I'm not leaving because the other guy was like, let's just go and get some more cash. And the other guy was like, no, I'm not leaving. And I saw a blow mold, but I wasn't paying attention, y'all. It was about the beanies. They were looking up those beanies and seeing those prices. I tell you guys, don't pay attention to. But yeah, they were putting stuff back, but not the beanies. And it was like two totes of them. I feel, and I at one point it was like I want to say I heard her say it's one hundred sixty-five dollars. But I don't know what all was there. But the majority was the beanies. The running out of money happens because we ran out of money the, the day before. Mm. No. The no, same day. The same day. And you had wanted to go to this yard sale, but I wanted to go to a different one, this other one. And I'm so glad. Who knows what we missed because we did pick up some good stuff. There were but... some really good things there. And I hate to think what we missed that day because we had to wait until like 12 30 or one to get there yep yeah it just took us longer to get there because we kept finding yard sale after yard sale after yard sale y'all i'm gonna throw this away it's supposed to have a rubber band thingy i have found these a couple of times i don't trust the rubber band stuff so i just discard them because i don't want a kid playing with this and that rubber band snap so just say no Emily, don't know the brand. It says six inch bear. It's got fuzz balls on it. Probably bread and butter. All right. I'm seeing oh, that other sparkly thing is rust because this one looks very similar and it says glitz. I'll probably put those two together unless there's something special. Oh, yeah, keep them together. Target. Y'all, I do well with Target. Hopefully this might be a vintage one. I'm not seeing a date. Very cool. Hoping 15 or so for it. Look, another one. Now I know it's Rit Ritz. It's Russ. Let's see, is there any more? Oh, but this one's cute. No tag. Don't know. Very cute. Kind of looks rust to me. E&J Classics. This is cute. It's a baby lion. Now, E&J Classics is one of the brands that puts out realistic, huge plush that sells for hundreds of dollars. So keep that in mind if you ever see something that says E&J Classics on it. Definitely check the comps. This is just small, but I'll definitely still... I'm hoping fifteen twenty dollars for it. Oh, this is good. This is Mattel. What was his name? Oh, wait. I don't think that's supposed to be on him. What was his name? It's the snail from SpongeBob SquarePants. Never watched that show. I always, I tried to watch it once, and you didn't my like my it. brain told me there's something wrong with this show, so I never watched it. And I would never let the kids watch it while I was around. No. Nope. I don't remember his name, but this is probably a good thing. $12 to $15. And then just, just littles, y'all. And this last bag, no more Lisa Frank. This one's interesting, though. Best Made Toys. I like that brand. So, Harry. Huh? This is weird. Feel it. It's a squishy ball inside. Like liquid. Like a stress ball? Kind of, sort of like that. Very neat. We should have stress balls that have... Stop. <laughs> right. I think that was it from that one yard sale. Three Lisa Franks. And then baby right there. And then the other $100 terry cloth plush, the boy I got washed already also. And 
he might need one more washing, but I think he's going to come clean too. So even just spraying that stuff and get them washed um, usually works. But this has been an amazing find and I'm almost done listing all of it. All right, y'all get to work. Bye.